Remnant 2 is jam-packed with secrets, but none have a bigger impact than those that unlock exciting new archetypes. Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, we're gonna unpack one such secret and tell you exactly how to unlock the much-anticipated, much-hyped Summoner. As with most things in Remnant 2, you first have to find yourself in the right situation. Because of the way players experience the game in a random order, that might take an hour or it might take longer. The key to unlocking the summoner is the world Yesha. However, even when you do make it to Yesha, you'll need to ensure somewhere in the world is a Blood Moon altar. And for the record, we've encountered this in more than one place. Luckily, if you do have it, it's pretty easy to find as it's called out on your map by this blue icon. If you don't get a Blood Moon Altar on your playthrough, remember you can always re-roll your Yesha map in Adventure Mode and try again. That's the best way to farm for secrets, and in this case, the Summoner Archetype item. Before we talk about the specific Summoner details, let's take a look at what else this vendor has to offer, and as you can see, you'll have to pay for each item with the Blood Moon Essence Currency. There's the Faded Grimoire, the crafting item used to create the Summoner Archetype item. Keep in mind, not only will this cost you the 15 Blood Moon Essence required, but also 5 Luminite Crystals and 1500 Scrap. You'll also be able to use the Blood Moon Altar to pick up a whole host of Summoner-related items, including the Soul Guard Ring, which grants you a stack of Bulwark for each active summon. For those that don't know, Bulwark is a damage mitigation buff that reduces incoming damage. This will run you about 5 Blood Moon Essence. There's also the Soul Anchor Necklace. This one is actually insane. Each time you perform a summon, you gain a buff that increases all damage dealt by 20% for 30 seconds. This is likely to be a staple of any summoning build for quite some time. This potency is reflected in the price, costing 10 Blood Moon Essence, 3 Illuminate Shards, and 1,000 Scrap. Finally, everyone loves a new set of armor, and players can pick up the Knotted Armor set for the right price. The total cost for all four pieces is 25 Blood Moon Essence and 1,950 Scrap. The real question at this point though, how do you obtain the all-important Blood Moon Essence? Well, periodically the sky in Yesha will turn red, indicating a Blood Moon is present. This is purely a timing thing and will change as you move between the Yesha tile sets. We believe you can force the possibility of a Blood Moon by bouncing back and forth between different zones you've unlocked within Yesha, but it's hard to verify that without direct confirmation from the developers. Let us know in the comments if you tried this method and it worked for you. Once you encounter a Blood Moon, make your way to one of the tile sets that are themed with jungle assets. A couple examples by name are the Forbidden Grove, the Faithless Thicket, and the Far Woods, but of course, there are others. As you explore, you'll notice these floating purple orbs known as Wisps of Blood Moon Essence. These can literally spawn anywhere in these jungle zones and sometimes can even be clumped together in random corners of the map, so make sure to explore everything. Shoot them and the Blood Moon Essence will make its way into your inventory. This is the currency that you need to collect. Something to note, treat these as an extremely rare currency. While multiple may spawn in a tile set, they won't respawn once obtained. You'll need to re-roll your campaign or adventure mode to get them again, so spend wisely. Our experience is that you can expect to get somewhere between 20 to 25 during one full Yesha clear. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Once you've obtained 15 Essence, head back to the Blood Moon Altar and pick up the Faded Grimoire. Take that back to Ward 13 and speak to Wallace and he'll craft your new archetype item. This will cost you an additional 10 Luminite Crystals and 1,000 Scrap, but you will finally, at the end of your journey, have access to the Summoner Archetype. We hope you found this quick guide helpful. Remember, when it comes to game guides, our team wants to get you the information and get you back in the fight. So if you appreciate that, we'd appreciate your support. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Remnant 2 in your feeds. Of course, let us know in the comments what video you want to see next. And as always, feel free to join our community on Discord, where we talk about upcoming games and give away a ton of free prizes. That link, of course, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.